Hello brothers and sisters and welcome back to Subnautica. And today we're going to check our stuff. I'm going to go down in and see if I happen to have another... I do. Um, yeah, we are going to head out to the island because our rendezvous is going to be in less than nine minutes. And that's out that way. And... Oh. Uh, we're a little bit away from it. So I'm just going to zoom out that way and hope we don't run anything huge. I don't think there is anything too big along the way, but we'll find out. <gasps> no, no, no. I'll take it from my habitat builder. Lost my battery. Lost my battery. So go ahead and put it into there. That's why I need more batteries. So I'd love to um, scan the battery chargers. I gotta go through more shipwrecks though. Or, uh, oh, what's the, the, the Aurora's pieces that broke off the Aurora? I gotta go in and uh, scan some of those. Get battery charger, or charger and then just, just to be able to make other things. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. You don't want me? You don't want me? I heard you down there. I heard you down there. There we are. going to equip my knife. See if there's anything down here that would be very beneficial. Massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify it. Massive. Oh, 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 I hear the Reaper Leviathan. Luckily he can't come up on land. Oh no, I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. I just don't see them. But there's a cave over here. Oh, 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 oh! No, 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 no. You don't want me. You don't want me. What? Die, 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 die. Another one. You fucker. Okay, you fucker. Die. Die. No, no, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Symptoms of infection. New PDA data. Oh, that's right, there's lithium in here. What did I say was in here before? But yeah, there's lithium in here. Huh? Huh? Got five minutes. That's why I don't want to get too deep into this. Just rope around. No, nope, no. Nope. What are those? Shale outcrop. Lithium. I think that's gold. Remember that materials Diamond. together are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. She's not lying. They're gonna. They're. They're really gonna bill me. So 
I'm surprised that thing was infected and never, it never, neither of those two things that even bothered attacking me. That's, I'm not used to that. I mean, it happens, but I'm not used to it. So we got four minutes left. And you're going to see something strange appear on that island. Oh god, I hear you. I hear you. No, don't attack me. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. I'm going to kill you before you attack me. I believe there's something up here. I think there's a tablet up here. Another purple tablet. Get to a good vantage point down here. No, this is where they said they would meet us. So we got about three minutes. snap a picture of that. Was it F8? F8 snap pictures? No, not F8. What was the uh, button to snap a picture? Keyboard. Take picture. Oh, F11. Okay. So, F11. Would that... I think that's a moon. Or is that another planet? I think it's another planet. Right behind it. I think I'm going to wait for it to get aligned right perfectly with that. And then snap another picture. Right there. I think I can open up my PDA and the pictures I took. Yeah, that one's, I like that one a lot. A lot. So we got two minutes left. Oh, you can't see the clock. I think I got... Oh, no, you can. For some reason, I was thinking... Uh, I was thinking my image was on the right-hand side. It's not. It's on the left. I don't look at myself while I'm playing. I, I pay attention to the game. Minute and a half. Minute and a half, friends. Soon, we're going to see that building start moving. I won't tell you what happens, just in case. But in case you don't know. I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but... Something is going to happen. So I'm just preparing y'all for it. Got about a minute. Got about a minute. And then I think uh, after this, won't be in this episode, but the very next episode, I think we're going to just fully prepare for um, going out to... Uh, um, Aurora. Um, I know I want to bring um, a few uh, fire extinguishers. Um, I want my sea moth to be built by then. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? Was. What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? I took another screenshot. Set thrusters to full.
So help came for us. And that building just blew it right out of the sky. So it basically settles itself back into the way it was. Now we're going to go explore it. Was a broken one? This one we found up there. <clears throat> Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No integrity. matches found in database. Performing structural analysis. Translation. Uh, it's not possible to translate any useful information. Scans have returned some information on the device itself. It's likely a solid state computer, although there's no clear way to interface with it. Further research required. Ion cube. It's basically a power source. Valuable energy source. I can pick these up and make some cool... You can make some ion batteries with these things that just last. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Um, I think the batteries are like three times, three times the... Of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Yeah, the batteries, I believe they're like three times, they hold three times the power that, uh, the, um, the normal ones do. Oh, I do have one. Vital signs stabilizing. Good, good. I didn't stop to think about anything need or drink. Unknown language attempting translation. It right, appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern in three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's inner, inner, internal workings. Power layout control room. The lower section houses the only known way to interface with this facility. This is basically telling me I need to keep going down.
All right, let's scan this. Alien rifle. Nothing I can make, unfortunately. Those, I think those are basically telling us that uh, they're basically... purple tablet which we're gonna need upstairs here alien device scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. It's not a promising thing. Could you imagine what kind of person would want to create something that could potentially destroy an entire planet and part of its solar system? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Hmm. So basically, I'm infected. And I think I can scan myself. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. So basically, there's an infection on this planet. And I've got it. In a nutshell. Alright, so there's really nothing else I really need to do in here. Um, I'm going to... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, sure it is. Was there something out here? There is. I just got to be careful about my oxygen. But there's this thing here I want to scan. This archway. Oh, I'm hearing the big thing. I'm hearing the big thing. I don't want to be here. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I hear that thing roaring. Okay. Going back up.
The question is, do I remember the way out? I think I do. This place looks cool, though. This place looks cool. This isn't the only only one on this planet that looks like this. There are definitely more. All right. So there's that. I want to get back to my. I want to get back to my little habitat, my home away from home. Um water back there. Actually, I think I can... These trees here, I have one of these actually planted. And I can actually consume these. I get both food and water from these. So they're nice to have. I'm going to do a different one just so I don't cut it down completely. Let's go three. I'm full up. I'm all the way up. All right. All right. I don't like getting back in the, uh, the water with a leviathan, but maybe if I just go straight, just go straight, maybe I don't have to worry about them. Actually, what, you know what I'm going to do to... Oh my god, there's a warper. They can, they can warp you so far away from your, your, your position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game. Save. Alright, now let's now let's do this. Oh man, no warper, no warper, no warper. I'm glad I saw him before you saw me. They don't really do anything to you. They don't really attack you. They just, they put like this field around you and they'll teleport you somewhere else. Sometimes, sometimes it's only a couple inches away. Sometimes a little bit greater than that. And I was hearing the grind, the, the roar of a Reaper Leviathan. And I, I don't want to see it. I don't want anything to do with it. But I know I'm going to run into that son of a bitch eventually. It's like underwater ocean. It's it's beautiful when you're in a uh, when you, when you're in the sea moth, which uh, um, I really want to get stuff to make. Um, in fact, that's going to happen before I go to Aurora. I want to make the sea moth, and then I'm going to prepare for my trip to Aurora. And I'll probably do that in the next video. Um, maybe I'll get to Aurora, and then. Maybe explore it a little bit and then do the rest in another video. Unless I decide to do like an hour long video. But I don't really know how well how well that will work. It seems like the last video I did of this, it was like stuttering and I, don't, I have no idea why. But. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Sharing subject locations with other agents. <sighs> so now we're being hunted. Oh, look, there's another one ready. I'm going to store this for now. Well, at least I was going to. Oh, I got a full battery right there. Okay, I'm going to store that. So I'm going to open up. What was it? Was it. This thing, yep. I'm gonna put. Oh no 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 no. You know what? I'm going to put the fresh battery in the Sea Glide, and then I'm gonna put that battery in there. Uh... 
I'm going to grab these. I'm just going to grab whatever I can take. Because I'm going to go down in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And for now, I want to build a locker. Let's put it there for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to store things in here. I'm going to keep that on me. I'm going to keep two of them. I'll keep one on me. I might not need two as of right now. And because uh, eventually I want to not rely on this little life pod. And I also, yeah, I don't want to rely on the life pod or any of these lockers. I want to put them all in my my little habitat that I'm gonna that I'm gonna you know finish down there. Yeah, because eventually I'm gonna end up moving my habitat somewhere else. The thing that they say about this game is you should never live in one place for too long. Actually, I'm not gonna need the flares. I don't even know why I have flares. I mean, it's useful for distracting predators, so maybe there's that. But I think I've I've only used a flare I think once, and I don't even think I used it properly. Okay, there's that. So I got that full. Um, I don't have any quartz to make another one. Or do I? I do. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one. If it turns out I don't need it, I can always deconstruct it and get, get all the material back. So in this game, whenever you deconstruct something, you get all the material back. So this, I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. Put that in there. Blah, 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 blah. To keep the water on me for now, this fire extinguisher is at 100%. Sweet. Um, got stuff growing. That's good. Um, you know what? What do I need to make a fabricator? Titanium gold and table coral sample. I don't know if I have those. You know what I think I do? Look at that, folks. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to need a locker. Or not a locker, a radio. And a med kit fabricator but you know what that's all gonna wait that's all gonna wait um i don't need those right now i think when i want a med kit i'll just go up there and get it for now but uh we're actually doing really rather good um we did so i'm gonna go ahead and save this here and uh we're gonna call this an episode for now this has been fun um Next video, we are going to um, get whatever preparations we need out of the way um, so that we can get, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll record for an hour next time. And then I'll just trim out some of the uh, the, um, the farming, the digging and the, the whatnot to get everything. But I want to make a Seamoth for the next one. Um, I want to make um, my fire extinguishers. Uh, I want to make sure I have some kind of food prepared. Maybe I'll go get myself some salt and some fish. Actually, I'm not really worried about that because you get a lot of food when you're there.
there. You get food and water when you're there. So I think maybe if I if I just go there with, uh, you know, if I go there with at least a bottle or two of water on me, I think I'll be good because there's a lot of sustenance on on that on Aurora. Um, I should get some extra copper so I got more batteries because there are some places you're gonna need a flashlight. So, yep, that's for next time. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. -bye.